Hello guys, I'm going to be doing a um, kind of a review of a survival kit in progress. It's not really done yet. Um, so yeah, let's go for, from the left to start. For shelter, we got an umbrella. I mean, you could probably weight this down with some rocks or something like that. And you can have a little bit of like a makeshift shelter for a while until you can make one with some wood or leaves and stuff like that. You got yourself a survival knife. I made this out of a, a blade. Um, this blade is just like a regular stainless steel blade. Um, I sharpened it up. I got some electrical tape that you can take this off and use. And uh, I got some cotton in there. Colored cotton for some reason is colored, but whatever. Um, I can use, use that, take some of that out, and use it as a fire tinder. Um, I really don't have that much of a way to start a fire, but like I said, it will work with Progress Survival Kit. Um, like I said, the cotton and electrical tape are wrapped around this blade. You got yourself um, a shelter setup kit, so if you find any kind of um, wood or something like that, you can do that. Um, this has snare wire that you can use to set traps and stuff like that for animals so you can catch your food. Then you got some kind of clip looking things with nails and stuff like that. You got yourself another set of nails, more small nails, medium size. Well, this is medium size and that's a little bit bigger. Some more clip things and <laughs> These, um, if you have a fishing kit, which I do not have yet, um, you can, um, get these and put them into a stick. And you can use these as the holes for the line, so it's at least better. But, um, yeah. That's, I guess you could say this is a fishing kit, shelter kit, um, animal catching kit, uh, in progress, you know, it's not done yet. Um, this is more like an urban survival kit, uh, slash wilderness, if you're gonna be going out there just for a little while. Um, you got some kind of vitamins, uh, for, this is personal for me, uh, children's DHA, fish oil, stuff like that. Um, I have a multivitamin, stuff like that, gummy. That's good for me anyway. Um, I got cream style corn in a can. Um, I can use this knife right there to open that because this is something convenient that this has um what i could do is just i could just get this uh knife and then just put it down right into the area right around the seat, the lip of the can and just cut through it's a pretty sharp knife so i can do that and then i got um sweet green beet green peas these are i don't know somewhat good in a survival situation you, uh, don't matter what kind of food you have, so, use what you got. Um, you have rice, all natural farmhouse chicken rice. Not really chicken, I mean, it's chicken flavor, but it doesn't have any chunks of chicken in it. Um, it's pretty good, I like it. Um, that's extra rice. Um, this is a bag, uh... Whatever that says, I'm not really familiar with Chinese or Japanese writing. So, um, if you guys can read that, whatever. It's just a bag of rice. That's good to have. And, uh, if I haven't mentioned this yet, it's, um, it's a flashlight from the dollar store. I mean, it's a good one, and not bad for a buck. I mean, yeah, I taste tested this already. It's really good. I recommend you buy this. It's cheap. And it lasts a long time and works good. That's something very rare from the Zola store. <laughs> and I got yourself, myself a backup flashlight. Really bright. Um, it's blue. It's stainless steel. It has a pod inside of it with three AAA batteries. Um, I'm probably going to put in some backup batteries uh, pretty soon. So, yeah. So, I'll have some backup batteries. And... This is a short rave radio. So, 
it's pretty good. Um, um, I like this. Uh, it's good to communicate with the rescuers in, in the area. Um, stuff like that. It's pretty good. It's pretty durable. I mean, it only takes two double A batteries. So, well, not double A, triple A's. So yeah. And then I got myself some sunscreen here. Oops. Some sunscreen. It is um, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Just a small little thingy of sunscreen. Say so if you're going to be outside for a long time and you haven't made shelter yet, you can put that to protect you from the sun. And I got myself a makeshift um, first aid kit. It's just got some uh, bandages with some uh, pain relieving cream that it's kind of like Neosporin, something like that. Um, yeah, but this is still a work in progress, like I said. And the packaging, I carried it in. It's a fabric bag. I mean, it's not really too special, but, um, yeah. So, I package all that stuff in there. Um, I'll give you a rundown again. Umbrella. Vitamins. Food source, right here. Just right there. First aid. Lighting. Utility tool. Fishing slash catching slash shelter shelter uh, kit. Scun screen. Communication. And carrying thingy, I guess you can say. So that's the contents of my uh, work in progress survival kit. Um, it's going to have a lot more stuff I can find. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a way bigger survival, uh, first aid kit. But, um, yeah, that's about it. And, um, see you guys later. Bye.